I am surprised by the sound of that mic. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so so humbled and grateful. And this whole this whole process is is really long, and there's a lot that goes into it. There's a lot of uncertainty, but now to have some certainty, I just get to put my full focus and attention into into the Cincinnati Bengals and just getting to work and trying to be the best player I can be for them. They're getting a competitor, you know, they're getting somebody who I just want to come in and I literally just want to come in tomorrow morning and just go to work. You know, that's that's what I do. And this whole process, you know, you, you kind of have to be in the spotlight a little bit more and you have to be less of an O-lineman than, than I try to be. Um, so to have the opportunity to know what team I'm on, like none of the no, nothing else matters at this point. It's just it's just about playing football. Thanks, bud. Yeah, that's that's why I chose to go to Alabama um, to be able to play against the types of guys I played against in practice, and to play against the guys I played in the SEC West in the playoffs every year, playing Clemson every year, things like that. Like that prepared me. I feel like the best it could, um, the best it could for the next level. Um, I know the NFL is a whole different beast, and so I think what I'm bringing on top of that is just the preparation, the uh, the preparedness I try to have, the the work I'm going to do, and. If, if some guy is more talented than me, then I'm just going to have to outwork him. And that, that's the attitude I've always had, and that's the attitude I'm going to continue in the NFL. I haven't. I'm looking forward to, though. He's a, you know, he's a veteran guy who's done great things. He's earned a ton of respect, and I want to come in and earn his respect. I think as an O-lineman, that's what you want to do. I haven't. One of my good friends from high school uh, plays tight end for the uh, Cincinnati Bearcats, Josiah DeGuara. So he said great things, had great reviews for the city. I'm looking forward to getting up there and, uh, and experiencing it myself. I don't know yet, and I'm not, not trying to look at it like that from that perspective. I just see myself as the player they picked first, you know, and I'm humbled by that. I'm honored by that. And so my goal is just to come in and prove them right, you know, and wherever that is on the line, whatever, you know, role they want me to have on the team, that's the team that I'm, uh, that's the role that I'm going to, I'm going to take on and put my full effort into. What was that? I'm sorry. Um, I mean, Alabama's great because there's, there's such a rigorous schedule, you know, and it's, you know what you're doing. I can tell you what they're doing tomorrow, the next day, the next day, just off the top of my head because that's, that's just the type of process that it is. And so in this training process, you don't have that type of regimen, so you have to give it to yourself. And so that's what I did, but it, it's not as fun being a mercenary. You know, I'm proud to be part of a team again and be working out with the team, have a group of O-linemen and, and an offense I want to be part of. Where was Josh drafted, by the way? I haven't seen. Oakland. That's awesome. Good for him. Yeah, I, I was thinking that's where he's going to go, too. So that's so exciting. You know, we, we all came in together. We're all freshmen together. And to go through that experience and all the workouts that we did, all, all the grinding we did through practices and those things, and to see the guys have the success that they had in college and then to have this opportunity in the NFL, uh, you know, it's, it's just so exciting. And we're all proud of each other and looking forward to uh, keeping up with each other at the uh, next level. I talked to him yesterday. Um, you know, he, he was apologizing that he wasn't able to make it to the draft with his hip replacement. But, you know, he, he was saying he's, he's tired of the cane. He wants to get rid of it. He's, he was already back in the facility working. And that's something I've always admired about him and not surprised at all about that. That's wild. I didn't know that. Um, no, I mean, that's the process. That, that, that's what he does, and we, we owe a lot to him. I owe a lot to him for, for seeing me out of, out of high school and taking me on and putting me through that process. I know that's helped me tremendously at this point, and it has for all the other first-round picks and all the other guys who maybe weren't first-round picks but are having great careers right now in the NFL. I think it's the structure and it's the relentlessness. You know, it's 
you don't really have an option. You know, you show up and you work hard because that's what everyone's doing. That's what's expected of you, and no one really doesn't do that because that's just what it is. You know, it's not an option. You don't decide when you want to work hard or when you want to, you know, practice hard or whatever. That's that's just something that's expected of you every day. And I like that. You know, I love that. I gravitated to that. That's why I chose him out of high school. And I think it's clearly worked. You know, he's had a ton of success in college and. You know, I want to bring that same type of process and that same work work ethic to the uh, NFL.